I just told Abram that, his, that he was adopted. He was eight years old at the time, and we had not told him that he was adopted. So I sat him down, and I told him the story of his mom and I adopting him. One night, um, I was laying Abram down. I'm, I, it was a Sunday night. I remember I was tired. I'd been at church all day, and I was praying over him, and I really just wanted to you know, pray an obligatory prayer and go watch Sports Center because I was tired. You know, and dads, you know, I, you know, we all get to that place sometimes, you know. And so I was praying my customary good night prayer over Abram, and I was, he was going to go to bed, and I was going to go downstairs and unwind. And as I was leaving his room, he said, Dad, I said, yes, Abram. You know, kind of aggravated a bit that he had interrupted my walk, you know. And he said, thanks for adopting me. And I was just, I mean, I just sat there just stunned, you know, because he, uh, he's never said that before to me. And I said, well, why why you say that? Why why'd you say that, Abram? He said, well, I've just been thinking. He's eight years old, remember? He said, I've been thinking that if you had not adopted me, that we wouldn't be buddies. And so I'm just, now I'm undone by it, you know. So I walked back over to him, and I said, Abram, we're going to be, I'm glad I adopted you. It's one of the, it's the best decision I've ever made, and we're going to be buddies forever and always. So, I'm, you know, it's a real emotional moment for me because it's the first time he really ever said something like that to me about his adoption, and he was catching it. His little heart, he was catching that I had chosen him, that I chose to adopt him, and because I made that choice, we were going to be friends always, forever and always. So I got out in the hallway, and I, you know, I just was praying. I was having this conversation with God about Abram, and I said, is everything okay with Abram? I was asking the Lord this, and the Lord said, that was for you. That wasn't for Abram. And I said, what do, you, what do you mean it was for me? He said, well, Brady, if I had not chosen to adopt you, we wouldn't be friends either. But I chose you. So that night launched me into this really deeply personal journey of discovering God as a father that had chosen me. Long ago before the creation of the world, he chose me. He had to adopt me um, through Christ. And it gave him great pleasure to even think about it.